doesn't hurt too much doing this or keeps hitting the calculator, but my goodness, what a start he is off to. By the end of this game, he could have monster numbers. He just wants to continue to be accurate. They go play action here on first down. He's going to sling this deep downfield. And incomplete, he dropped it in the end zone. Those passes out that far wide always make you hold your breath a little bit. Felt like it was in the air for a while. What it does is it allows a defender to gain some ground, come from a long distance, and have a chance to affect the pass. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. It's an eight-yard pickup, and they're going to face a third down. Just a gain of two there, and it's going to bring up a fourth down. Now to try the Eagle field goal, Jake Elliott. This from 44 yards out, left hash. And Elliott puts this one through. And that'll push the lead up to 17. So he splits the uprights and has to be a nice feeling. Right when it left his foot, knew it was good. Yeah, just like a good three-point shooter in basketball, right? Release the ball, fall back on defense without even looking. You know it's going in the hoop. The Patriots offense now. They work their way back onto the field. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn getting set for quarter number three here. So the Eagles with the lead, and they're going to get this football first as the third quarter gets underway. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. And he's able to get it across the 20, but not by... as he's marked down at the 21-yard line. Out come the Eagles now as he'll go on offense first here in the third quarter. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive, isn't it? They score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because what you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, in fact, you can take the spirit away from another team. That their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. It's still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're teetering right there on the brink, aren't they? From the 21, it's second and 10. Once again here on second and 10. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And a great move on the play as he takes this one past the 25. Six yards on the pickup, and that'll bring up a third down. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware a ball may come your way. Wentz now to throw. Flushed out right. And incomplete here on third down. Finally, a good play there defensively on the deep ball. The secondary has had its struggles this entire game. Offensively, they've had their way with them. This offense converted once on fourth down earlier. Now they're out there again to try once more. 
They do go for it. It's Wentz. And Tate's got it. A solid pickup of five and a very solid fourth down conversion and defensively pure frustration. But well, all came together on that one, didn't it? Big time throw on four. Now that had to feel good, didn't it? Taking that type of a gamble there and making it pay off. What a throw. And tough as a receiver because no matter how perfect the pass, you know it's fourth down and you got to convert. A little bit of extra pressure, but he overcame it. A good pickup there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Seeing that play and understanding just how tough it is to cover tight ends, especially the ones running around the NFL nowadays, makes me glad I didn't make it in that league. I would have had a really difficult time. But now you get to sit up here looking for Jeffrey, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Stephon Gilmore. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Now they needed a break. They needed to make a play here in the third quarter. Defensively, they did that. Now they got to go quickly and get some points on the board. And the best part is that they made their own break. Taking the ball away. Now they just look at their offense and saying, guys, let's go. Come on, capitalize on this one. Dancing to his left. Gets it to Gordon. No gain there on the completion, second and ten. The things got a little dicey there as soon as he exited the pocket out to the left. And he ends up throwing it for no yardage gained. I don't know about you, but my high school coach, John Ford, if he saw a ball in the air and you got no yards out of it, he would have had a straight, okay? Because his, his opinion, that ball shouldn't be in the air unless something good was going to happen. Tuck it away, try and pick up something, or just slide and get down. Nothing good happened there, that's for sure. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. This defense is continuing to contest every deep ball that is thrown downfield. And look, it doesn't matter whether you're playing man or zone, eventually that becomes man on man, and you've got to trust yourself and go up at that moment of truth and make a play on the football. To throw on third down, Brady. And Brady going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off by the linebacker, Nigel Bradham. And they will take over at the 29-yard line. So after the INT, here's Wentz. He's going to go up top for the hit. And this is caught. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Golden Tate. Don't be talking sideways. 
sodium, they jelly, petroleum, always talking in the background, don't never come to the podium, Chef Cardi B, I'm up, I see you, not the EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one between the Los Angeles Rams and the Philadelphia Eagles. Set to go now on a wet and rainy night, and we are underway from the city beautiful. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. down gone trying to improvise throw it across his body and it's intercepted picked off with great anticipation and they get the football they'll set up shop at their own 49 yard line Winston the Eagles now with a first and 10 just shy of midfield at the 49 throwing now is Wentz Steps away to his left. And his first pass here is going to fall incomplete. I hope I don't sound too rah-rah on that one, but that's the exact right throw. Either your receiver gets it or no one gets it. Give him a lot of credit for being really precise with it. Got rid of it. No one got it. On play action, it's Wentz. Eluding the pressure right. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Aaron Donald. In there to drop him, and it'll be a loss of about eight. Well, there was second long, now it's third and even longer. They're going in the wrong direction here. Because they're moving exactly the way they want to, but you're exactly right. Definitely going in the wrong direction for the offensive guys. And he takes a shot on the release, as this will be incomplete. Pressure, and that's certainly going to be a key to this game going forward. And that time, they were able to get in there and influence the throw. And remember... Quarterbacks got to get rid of it. They don't have the tuck rule that they can fall back on anymore. Oh, a big decision here early. Look at this. They're going to go for it on their own side of the field. They'll try and throw for it here. He completes it to team. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Fourth down conversion plays, you usually think one, two, three yards, maybe ten. Not there. What a huge pickup as the sticks make a drastic shift forward. Wentz now on first down. Flush to his right. And an alley to run. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. He'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave him with second and a yard. And we have to give credit to him for buying time and extending the play. But you know, there's some really upset defenders on that one. They thought that they had him. Instead, he was coated in Teflon and got away. Now Wentz throwing on second down. Try to lob it in there, but it's incomplete. That would have been a great catch, but it's real difficult to hold on to it because it was contested all the way. Would have been a great play if he'd been able to haul that one in. They tried to throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. And now running right through it. And all the way down inside the five to the four. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Time to his left. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And now the Rams have got it. Going the other way. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, give some credit to the defense. They forced the big play, knocked the ball free from him. But it's a cardinal sin by the quarterback. You know who you are on the field. And he just gave up at a minimum three points. And instead of getting down, takes the contact. The turnover ensues. Todd Gurley, wave goodbye. 20, 10, and a cut to the right and some open touchdown, LA. Todd Gurley, 91 yards. And the Rams.
Rams are going to take a first quarter lead. 